So I am making my creamy Tuscan garlic chicken recipe that I found on Pinterest today. And right now I have my thin cut chicken breast in the skillet. I'm going to brown these. Then I have a couple of more. The recipe calls for a pound and a half. So I have six, altogether six thinly cut uh, chicken breasts. And we're just letting that brown in two tablespoons of olive oil. I have seasoned my chicken breast with salt and pepper and a little Italian seasoning. Also on the stove right now I have a pot of water boiling because I'm going to make a linguine for the mister of the house. And I am going to use zucchini noodles for my portion of the recipe. So it's basically we're having the same dish, but we're having it a different different way. Okay. So we just want to cook these to brown them and make sure that they're not pink on the inside. They're very thin, so it doesn't take long for them to get done. Also, looking at other recipes to try next week for dinner, putting in the lineup another chicken breast recipe that is calls for uh, a bacon mustard sauce and a recipe for a enchilada bake. You know, you know, I like tacos and everything like that, but we have to find an alternative for the different things that we like that have a lot of carbs in them. So I found this enchilada bake is nothing but if you do a crust with some cream cheese and some other ingredients and then the toppings on that is just some sauteed ground beef with some cheese. So it's basically a really low carb dish and you still get all the flavors of a Mexican dish. So, you don't have to miss out on the flavors that you like. You just have to find a different way of preparing them. So, that's what I'm on a quest to do is to find different ways to prepare the foods that I like. I am a foodie. So, I like to try different recipes and um, come up with a different way of doing it. So, that I can still be on this keto plan. And doing it while somebody else is in the house that is not on keto. Who is trying to gain weight actually while I'm trying to lose weight. Go figure. But we make it work. And other things I like to I like to bake. So then I try to find things that... I'm learning how to do a keto bread. Uh, I've made the cloud bread before that's so popular on the keto plan. I've also done a loaf bread. Uh, I'm still experimenting with how to make keto crackers. Uh, I've done it one time. They turned out okay, but I need to tweak, do some tweaks to that before I'll make it again. Uh, I've made a pound cake keto, the keto way, and it was really good. So... I hope to be making more recipes online for you guys. Uh, just things that I find, things that I like, and that can inspire somebody or help somebody along this journey. So, let's see. We're on the second batch of chicken. We're going to flip it because these are really thin, guys. So, it doesn't take long for them to get done. Once the second batch is done, we're going to add 
add the heavy cream. So let me start getting my ingredients and bringing them over to this counter. Ooh, ooh. And careful not to make a mess. Which is bound to happen in the kitchen. Okay, so the sauce for this dish calls for a cup of heavy cream, a half a cup of chicken broth, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a cup of spinach, and a half cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Sometimes I'm in a store and I'll pick up things just to have because you never know when you might need them. And I bought these sun-dried tomatoes a couple of months ago thinking I was going to do a recipe and never did. So when I saw the recipe called for sun-dried tomatoes, I was like, yes, this is the one. So the only thing I had to pick up today was the thin sliced chicken breast and a zucchini. I had everything else on hand. And a lot of times when I'm looking at recipes, I think about what I already have in the household that I won't have to go out and purchase uh, to make a meal. Okay, we have the water for the linguine pasta, which I broke in half, is ready to go. So we're gonna let that cook. this side of the world. Alright. So yeah, the, I take a look at what I have already on hand and look at different recipes that I can utilize what I already have. And I'm trying to get better at buying things when they're on sale. I may not necessarily need them at that time, but we'll buy them when they're on sale so it'll be less expensive in the long run because you know you can always use find a use for it. Okay. The chicken is almost done. And, and spices. I usually buy my spices in bulk from Sam's. Or if I'm looking for something special, I'll go to a spice shop. Or if I'm in one of those movies, just to go to the spice shop and try something different or use something I've never done before. I'll go to Penzi's Spice Shop here in St. Louis and I'll get a spice and try it. Different because they have different like paprika, the smoked paprika, the Spanish paprika. Uh, it's just different things that I like to try when I'm cooking. So we're almost done with our chicken breast. And I want to get that pasta a little stir so it does not stick. Because there is nothing like stick pasta sticking together. So I just run my fork through that while that is coming back to a boil. So once our chicken breast is brown, we are going to add the cup of heavy cream. That's the one thing about keto. You can have this cream. You can have the butter, the olive oils, the avocado oils. And we're going to add our half a cup of chicken broth. 
we're going to add our teaspoon of garlic powder our teaspoon of Italian seasoning and our Parmesan and we have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese going into the sauce okay if you like you can make more sauce you can add more of the Parmesan and more of the heavy cream